Oh, hello. <laughs> it's been a long time, but today I'm going back to my roots. <laughs> so right when the pandemic started in the US in the middle of March, I was doing an acting job and our run got cut a bit short. We didn't get to finish. And so in order to sort of fill the creative void, I spent two weeks straight making some sort of art I, I am like a creative person, but I, I got to try a lot of things that maybe I wasn't um, so adept at or didn't have a lot of experience with and were maybe even a little cockamamie. <laughs> Is that a word? Is that like the correct way to use that word? Oh my gosh. So I just said cockamamie like as a joke. I thought it would be a funny word to use. And then I was like, actually, what is this word? So I've, I've Googled it and it came up. <laughs> The website is called Worldwide Words, and it says here, cockamamie, something ridiculous, incredible, or implausible, is an intrinsically funny word, but it's truly incredible that word historians believe it's a close relative of the word decal. Cockamamie and decal, wow, the English language is really freaking weird. And I guess maybe like a month or a month and a half ago now, uh, my little sister sent me this viral Reddit thread of a woman who had gotten her cat to take a bath with her. I'm going to try to put a picture of the thread here. Was I successful? Person was like, yeah, we like hang out in the bath, watch Netflix, become like really close buddies, have a great time. And I was like, aw, I would love to have that connection with my cat. I am going to try to convince my cat Yertle to get in the bathtub with me. And by the end of this video, Yertle and I are going to be snug in a tub. I wish that rhymed and it didn't. We're gonna be closer. Our bond is going to be 10 times stronger than it was at this moment in time. Another thing that I saw on social media during quarantine was someone who made like a TikTok probably, and they were like, I read somewhere that if you wet a toothbrush and you brush it on your cat's fur, it reminds them of being licked by their moms and they like love it. So what I think I'm going to do is step one, I'll take the toothbrush and the water, I'm gonna go find Yertle and I'm gonna be like, oh, piss, 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 Yertle, come here. Like, isn't it just like, being a little kitten. Then after that rousing success, when Yertle is like, oh, wow, I just feel like you're my mom. I feel like I trust you so much, wait. <laughs> so like Yertle's MO is like, if I'm standing up, she'll come and like yell at me until I sit so she can like get on my lap and be warm. But if that's not possible, she'll like go into the boiler room and just like curl up to be near the, the most heat source. So I think she'll really like the tub and she loves boxes. Right. And then, so if that fails and like I try to put her in and she's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to bring in the secret weapon. Genuine cosmic catnip. Catnip is considered safe for both animals and humans. However, we recommend that cosmic catnip is used exclusively by cats. I'd like to thank you all for joining me on this journey. It's, I know a big undertaking, quite difficult. I anticipate that there will be setbacks and trials along the way, but the course of true love never did run smooth is what I wanted to say, but that's not it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go run the bath, get everything set up. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so I have filled my cup with water. I've got my toothbrush and Yertle has just come upstairs from the basement. I enticed her out by making these sounds. And she's on my bed. She's looking very annoyed. So we're in a great position to start this experiment. Here we go. Isn't she cute? She's like so cute. Yertle, I have two, possibly three treats for you today. You want to know what the first one is? Okay, see this one? You want to try it? <laughs> Yertle, do you like it? 
You don't seem like it. That really does not look like the face of a happy cat. What's the verdict on this one? Hmm? Yeah, high five. Yeah, high five. Cutie pie. She didn't like it. It makes me a bit nervous about step two just because I know she doesn't like being wet and I'm worried about like having her near the water I think just m might make her anxious. So I feel as if catnip may be in order. Half the reason I wore this robe is because I wanted to do this, ready? Well, he ain't getting any data. How was it? <laughs> Yertle, will you come in the box if I put some catnip in the box? Oh ho, guess who came into the bathroom? You like this one, huh? This one, you're such a diva. She got straight in the box. Okay, the cat is in the box. Now I feel like, shall I just transport her to the tub? Do you like it? She hated it. Uh, don't even try to jump up on that window ledge. <laughs> fell off the toilet. Yertle, you are drunk. Come here. You're cute. Yeah. I'm gonna try to lower the level of the water because I think what she didn't like when I put her in the first time was that it was kind of floating. Let's see. I mean, she's in the tub. Oh my gosh, I am in the bathtub with my cat. This is literally the best day. I mean, there's there's maybe like an inch of water at the moment. Coming at you live from my bathtub with my cat. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know if we can call this a success because there's maybe half an inch of water in this tub. I've got like one wet butt cheek. You happy? She's purring. So while we're here, what shall we speak about? Um, shall I give you some fun facts about Yertle? Yertle um, and Mac, both of the cats, were adopted by my family when I was in 10th grade, and I had nothing to do with it. And in addition to having nothing to do with it, I didn't even know it was happening. And I had gone to a friend's house, and my mom, dad, and both of my sisters rolled up to pick me up. And they had two kittens in cat carriers, and we're like, we adopted! <laughs> She's done. She's out. Here's the things that I learned from this experiment. Um, if you want to put your cat in the bathtub, and you want to use this method, the like tub in a tub method, definitely start with less water than you think you need. Um, initially, I filled the tub up maybe like four or five inches, and she's quite a light cat, so she was just floating on the surface and was quite unsteady and bobbing, and that's when she jumped out the first time pretty quickly. Definitely use bribes. Yertle loves catnips, so that's what we use. But if you've got like treats or things that they love, like that's what got us as far as we got today. So <laughs> I definitely recommend that. So in like the 0.2 seconds between making 0.2 and 0.3, Yertle just literally conked out. She's like, <sighs> um, which I guess is fine. My third point is like, don't take things too far for a joke with your pets. Like obviously this video is meant to be silly, but Yertle didn't love any of the things I tried to do to bring her joy today, which is fine. I'm not gonna push it because like, I want my cat to get in the bath with me. We tried it, um, she didn't love it. We won't do it again. I think I've said this before, but I often have people be like, what is your content? What is your niche? And I'm like, hmm. Mm -hmm. This is one of those times. However, I can say look forward to art and bathtubs on Sunday. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Okay. Did you wake up because I love you or because you heard someone on the stairs? All right, so wherever you are, Whatever you are doing on this fine night, I wish you the best in your endeavors. May they be more fruitful than mine on this evening. So the other day I was telling one of my collaborators about how I get my best ideas in the bathroom and today has been no exception. I have written a song about why you shouldn't give your cat a bath. 
um, inspired by the events of this evening. And it is called Don't Give Your Cat a Bath. And I view it as a moralistic tale for our generation. Here we are. Mm. People say cats are cold and aloof. They'll ignore you and scratch you and leave scars for proof. They'll take up the bed and they'll climb to the tree and the roof tops. But I have a cat who is lovely and sweet, who sleeps near my pillow or warm on my feet. There's only one thing she can't stand, so I sing, learn from me. Take a page from my book of catography and don't give your cat a bath. They hate it more than taxes or math. If you don't want to risk their ire or wrath, don't give your cat a bath. You can give them a treat, something lovely to eat, or some pets, but I repeat, learn to you, please. Don't give your cat a bath. Don't even give it a try, cause you won't succeed, you will cry, you will bleed. Learn from me. And don't give your cat a bath. Meow. Thank you. Now, when I saw this Reddit post, I was like, how did the cat get in the tub? I was like, this is Schrodinger's cat right here. This is the Schrodinger cat. The cat is in the box or is not in the box. The cat is in the box. How did the cat get in the box? Do they put the cat in the box, then fill up the tub, then put the box in the tub? Or do they put the box in the tub, fill up the tub, then put the cat in the box? Or do they put the cat in the tub? I already said that one. There's a lot of different ways. <laughs>